What's up, everybody? Got the new messenger back here for Nintendo Switch. It's gonna be a good bag. I'm gonna be unboxing it today. Show you what. Show you if it's worth buying or not. And what's inside the bag of the of the everywhere messenger of the Nintendo Switch everywhere messenger bag. Also gonna, also gonna show you about this case for the Nintendo Switch. I, I don't even know what's the name, but okay. I'm gonna quickly get some scissors, so I'll be back. Come back, guys. To unbox the messenger bag. I'm gonna quickly move this over here. So you can get a, a better angle of me. I mean, the, of the bag. Let me quickly unbox this. Oh my god, how hard is to open this bag? There we go. Finally. Okay. I'm taking off this thing now. Finally, after 300 years of waiting. Spent two years looking for this bag, people. To try to look in the front. What the fuck? How does that happen? Well, oh, that goddamn TV. Here's the back. Now, it comes with one, the one bag in the front, in the back of the bag. It's perfect for storing some small accessories. Here's the front of the bag too, with the old classic Super Mario. Comes with zippers, not the other one, I don't want to support anymore. The messenger bag. It has, for, this, for your switch, it has the protection of this. The protection of this, of this one. And then the protection of the case. So it's basically this, this, and your case. Let me quickly get my switch so I can put it in the case there. See how it goes. And see how it fits. My Nintendo Switch and the, and the case that comes with the messenger bag. It also comes with this, so you can with these, 
through the, the back of your switch, these could lay nice and clean there without getting busted. Here it is. It comes with this, so if you open your switch on the wrong side, it won't fall off. If only a dumbass will open it like that. Pretty hard to put in, but at the end, your switch is nice and safe there. It does not fall off at all. It's nice and secure. It does not fall off. And it fits nice and clean there. And there's the my switch. Nice and protected. And then I can put it. That's one protection it has. I can put it in here. What the fuck is this? I'll just leave it. I'll just leave these in here. It has now it has this putting it in here now two protections and it has two protections wait is it too dark in here I think it's too dark I feel it's like too dark for the camera let me quickly turn on another light and see if that helps no it doesn't help I'll just turn it off That's the second protection. Now, then it has a third protection for take your switch. It also has this, so you can carry your messenger, the messenger back like this, and it also has this to put it around you, to put it on, just hang it on your neck. We'll get to that later in a few thousand years, I guess. And then it also has space for some some small accessories. I mean, you have like your grip. I'm trying. Where was the? I'm trying to follow this instruction thing. It seems like. This area is for your dock, where you have the Ojo dock, the projector, you can put it there too. And then it seems like it's... This, this big pocket down here, this one is for your grip. Like that, your grip down there, nice and secure. Or you can put, if you really want to, you can put this in there. So you see my previous video, you know I unboxed this a long time ago. Messing up again. Somebody help me. I'll clean this up later actually. You can also put this in there. But be careful when you carry this one because the one I'm holding, this is the last one there is. There's no more, so. If you have one, then be super careful. Say that if you have one, be super careful with it. I just realized if you put, you can has this here too, a strap. You can you can probably not see it, but it has a strap there. You can put You can put the uh, the 
NES controller down there. If you have a Pro controller, you can put it down there. You can put down there a GameCube controller, any kind of controller really, or any kind of Nintendo Switch, any kind of any kind of grip too. Like this, any kind of grip. You can also customize this. You can remove these and these so you can customize it. I like it like this. I'm gonna leave it like that. FYI, I'm gonna buy other more a pro controller and NES con and a NES controller and a GameCube controller and more Joy Cons. Okay, just in case you're wondering why I don't have that, I don't have it yet. I am gonna buy it. Also, if you have more Joy-Cons than two, you can use this little thing here for Joy-Cons. Like that, for some good Joy-Cons. Or you can use it for any other small accessory or small controller like this actually no never mind it does not fit in there but you can use that for this for some And then this could be used for a dog, an Ojo dog, or for a, or you can just smash other accessories in there. Really, any random accessory you can smash other controllers. Right now, I just smashed my NES, but I can also put other controllers in here, like maybe a Pro controller, some headphones, other Joy Con stuff like that. I'm not gonna put this in there for now. Guys, as you can see in, in the picture here, you can also put up another a dock in there. You can put a dock in there too, in this, in here. After the, now that you fill up your the big bag, you close it up. Nice and secure. Now we move to the back. In the back, it's just a deep pocket. A deep and wide pocket. Where you can put any stuff you want. Like a controller like this. Even a case like this, if you wanted to. Safe the case with the NES controller, and after that, you're good to go. Yeah. 
you can either carry it like this, or With this, I'll be back. Like I said, you can carry it like this. Or you can carry it... Like this. Either one. Like this, these are attachable. You can add this to it, or you can remove it. Whenever you want. Now stay tuned for my next video with the case. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.